Hey, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Today we are going to talk about Robocop on 4K. You know, but before we jump into that, uh, please, if you like physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, you know, if you like home theater, you know, movies in general, if you like Xbox games, um, please check out my other videos on my channel and like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So we're going to talk about the classic Robocop on 4K. You know, the movie came out in 1987. You got Peter Weller, uh, Nancy Allen, uh, Ronnie Cox, uh, Kurtwood Smith, and we also got uh, Miguel Ferrer, which I forgot about him being in it because I know him for a, I mean, right before he passed, he was doing a, he played a Granger on a NCIS uh, Los Angeles. So it's kind of cool to see him in one of his earlier roles. Also, it was uh, directed by uh, Paul Verhoeven, which is. He's really known for some of uh, the sci-fi stuff. He's also done Starship Troopers, uh, Hollow Man, uh, Total Recall, Basic Instinct, uh, Showgirls. He's done a lot of other stuff, but those are the main ones, that are the popular ones. Yeah, I've always loved this movie. And I've had it on, a, you know, had it back on the VHS, had it on Laserdisc, you know, and on DVD, Blu-ray, and now 4K. And of course, this is the director's cut. Not surprised they didn't release the theatrical cut as well. I got the single disc version, so maybe a double disc they might have included. I don't know for sure. It is nice for, you know, some people might have the option. I just know the, just more of the violence and the gore for, like, uh, the boardroom scene when they introduce Ed 209 when he malfunctions. You know, the theatrical way just kind of, you know, shoots and he falls onto the model and it's done. Then the, ex the director's guy just, you know, just takes it over the top and he falls onto the model and just, he keeps firing away. He keeps seeing blood flying up in the air. It's almost, I mean, the, ex the director's cut actually makes those scenes a little bit more comical because they've added the stuff in. This 4K release came from Arrow, came out uh, last year, 2022. You know, like I said, I, I got the single disc standard edition. There's a two disc limited edition available, and also a two disc uh, steel book available. Yeah, the movie was originally filmed in 35 millimeter. Has a 4K digital intermediate. Um, has HDR10 and Dolby Vision. And uh, the uh, presentation here is phenomenal. I mean, to start out when you first enter the precinct, you know, you got the smoky atmosphere inside. You know, textures and details really pop on this, a lot more depth. Some standout moments for me, I thought it was definitely the Ed 209, uh, being, you know, because it was stop motion animation. But Hero just looks incredible. The details really leap off the screen here. Like one of the close up shots where his foot's hitting the carpet, you can just see a little warning tag on, a, on the leg and see some other stuff really pop there. Uh, the metallic suit of Robocop, you know, the blues and purples really stand out. When it comes into this little uh, grocery store with uh, it's being robbed and phenomenal details of all the stuff on the shelves, just, it looks incredible. This movie has never looked that good. Now comparing this with the Blu-ray, um, I had the old uh, uh, Blu-ray from uh, I think 2007. And you definitely, you know, as you expect with the 4K, you get the more depth and the details. You know, the uh, higher contrast, you know, a much richer presentation. The big difference here is the, the color grading. The 4K, they really bump it up with, you know, because of the Adobe Vision. It gives a much warmer color tones. The Blu-ray is much cooler. You know, sometimes the flesh, the skin tones can look a little muted. But here, it really gives it a bigger pop. There's overall a much richer feel on a 4K here. So check out some uh, screenshots comparing the Blu-ray and the 4K. And we'll come back and talk about the audio uh, packaging and the bonus features. And we'll see you in a couple minutes.
So for the audio, they gave us several options to choose from here. We got a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, a 4.0, and a 5.1. And they threw in a Dolby Atmos track as well. I toggled between the different tracks to just kind of get a little rough comparison. And even a 2.0 and 4.0, you know, you know, had nice clear dialogue throughout the whole movie on the, the different tracks. Well balanced across the front, good use of surrounds. Uh, surround mixes, you had a really nice speaker separation. You hear the different things going from speaker to speaker. And of course, I don't have Dolby Atmos, so I'm, you know, judging off the, you know, 5.1 track. But for me, honestly, you've heard me talk about DTS a lot in uh, some other reviews because in all the other formats, you know, I've always considered myself a DTS fanboy because in the past, DTS has always blown Dolby out of the water. It wasn't until uh, Blu-ray that the Dolby actually, you know, caught up and was, you know, having some good audio tracks. In a lot of my 4K reviews, I've talked about how the DTS on the Dolby, there's not a whole lot of difference there. But this one, there actually is. For me, the Dolby track was a little bit too overpowering, which is kind of weird to say because, you know, all of us, you know, home theater enthusiasts, we want to be blown out of, you know, we just want to be blown away when we watch a movie and we experience, you know, all the explosions and all that shit going on. But this one just seemed overdone. I asked, kind of hard to explain, but just didn't seem natural. Especially during the firefight scene when a Robocop goes to the OCP headquarters. And as he's trying to, you know, he has a confrontation with the Ed 209. And then as he gets back to the parking garage and all the police force opens fire on him. That's the scene I actually watched probably about three or four times. I bounced back and forth between the DTS and Adobe. And that scene alone, the DTS blew Dolby out of the water. Like I said, the Dolby was just too much. The DTS sounded much better, more natural. Still had all the gunfire going from the different speakers. Had a you know had a more of a punch to it, which you know usually DTS is almost nine times out of ten DTS the audio tracks are more amped up than Adobe. But in this case, that's the the reverse, which is kind of really odd. Music score is done by uh, Basil uh, Polidorus or. I don't know if I pronounce that right, but he's done a lot of popular, some popular movies. He's been around for a long time. I think he did like the original Conan, I think. But wonderful music score here to go along with everything going on. Yeah, definitely, you know, when you're watching this, you know, flip between the uh, tracks and see what you actually like the best. But I think, in, in my opinion, you know, when I watch this again, I'll just leave it on the DTS 5.1. I just think it was so much better. But yeah, I'll just leave that up to you. Just, you know, kind of a... FYI, let you know. Now for the packaging, we got a. I got the standard edition, so just a regular keep case. You know, just one single disc, and we also got a reversible cover art. So I went with the original. Of course, my one big issue with Arrow is still they're using the European cases; they're much thicker. I wish I would go with the standard U.S. cases. So for the bonus features, we have quite a bit here. Uh, we have a couple commentaries. One was uh, with uh, director Paul Verhoeven, executive producer John Davidson, and co-writer Ed Neumeyer. And also we got a commentary by some fans. And then when the, for the featurettes, we have The Future of Law Enforcement, Creating RoboCop, RoboTalk, Truth of Character, which I think that was uh, the interview with Nancy Allen talking about our character, you know, Lewis. And we got a uh, casting old Detroit, connecting the shots. Then we got an uh, analog. It's a it's a featurette on a uh, special uh, photographic effects. Then we got a uh, more man the machine, Rebel props. Then we have a Q and A, uh, RoboCop creating a legend, uh, villains of old Detroit. Special Effects Then and Now, uh, Paul Verhoeven Easter Egg, Deleted Scenes, The Boardroom Storyboards, we've got more, you know, galleries, trailers, and some other odds and ends, but so a lot of shit on here for the go-through. 
So to wrap it up, great solid release here from Arrow and Robocop. You know, if you haven't picked this up, I definitely, you know, I highly recommend getting this. This is incredible. This is the best this thing has ever looked. Now, cost-wise, uh, right now, the, the standard edition here is still going for about 35 bucks. The steel book is about 50. The original, the limited edition is, you know, you're going to pay, you're going to pay out of the ass for it. It's like going for like around 90 bucks or so. You probably have to do some shopping around. But even with a standard release like this, definitely do some shopping around because I got mine from Hamilton Book for 15 bucks. Much better than $35. So yeah, definitely pick this up out of your collection. You will not be disappointed. So that pretty much does it for my take on the 4K Robocop. Uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.